Good morning, ESM. I'm Isabel, and today we are going to start off our show with a report on a car crash in Oswego County. Here's Josh with news. Two people have died after a crash in Oswego County on Monday. A 22 Nissan Kicks crashed into a tree and caught on fire on 361 County Route 23. The driver and passenger were pronounced dead at the scene. State police are continuing to investigate what caused the car to run off the road. Further information will be available soon. The second presidential debate will be virtual to President Trump's positive COVID-19 test. The debate will be held in the form similar that the town meeting at each candidate's in separate remote locations. Biden will be in Miami, Florida, and Trump in the White House. President Trump, however, is unhappy with the new format and says to Fox Business, I am not going to do the virtual debate. I am not going to waste my time with the virtual debate. Currently, the debate is planned to be held on September 15th from 9.30 to 10.30. Ryan Reynolds' new movie, Free Guy, set to come out on December 11, 2020. The film puts him in NPC and online video games who fall in love with the player. Many gaming YouTubers have been cast, including The Irish, Sensation, Jack P. Stay, The Song with Pokemon, and Laser Beam. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is the last day to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Spartan News, to be entered into a $25 Visa gift card giveaway. Tomorrow we will announce the winner. Now off to weather with Gabby. Today we will have a high of 56 with mixed sun and clouds. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 64. Saturday we will warm up to a high of 77 and have some possible thunderstorms. Sunday and Monday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 60. Tuesday and Wednesday we will have highs of 68 with possible rain showers. I'm Gabby with your weather. In upcoming games, girls tennis plays Central Square at 5. Boys and girls cross country have a meet against Central CNS at, also at 5. And the boys and girls varsity soccer both play Auburn at 6.30. The boys will play home for their senior night, and the girls will also will play away. Both boys and girls soccer beat Cortland on Tuesday 6 to nothing. Parker Gamble, Todd Durantini, Evan DeBurgis, Jordan Sanson, and Evan Moon scored for the boys. Abby Hundreds, Leah Pulcaro, Natalie Peterson, and Leah Rem scored for the girls. In the NFL tonight, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will, and the Chicago Bears will face off in Thursday night football. Both teams are trying to make it to 4-1. In the MLB, the Tampa Bay Rays defeated the New York Yankees 8-4 to take a 2-1 series lead. Tampa is looking to make their first ALCS since 2008. Cody Bellinger's late robbed home run sealed a victory for the Los Angeles Dodgers as they beat the San Diego Padres 6-5 as they took a 2-0 series lead in the NLDS. In the NBA on Tuesday, the LA Lakers beat Miami Heat in the Game 4, 102-96. LeBron James led with 28 points for the Lakers. The Lakers lead the, three, lead the series 3-1. That's all the time we have for today. So for me and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day.